either of you has told anyone about this wine. If I understand that you have put the word out there, I'll be in touch with my goons. They will have you extinguished. They'll spread your body parts all along Mulholland Drive. That's where they do that, right? Oh, yeah. Okay. Anyway, it's just a special wine. <laughs> well, in that case, I should probably make a toast. Two hard-headed 13-year-old nieces. Incessant shopping. <laughs> New acquaintances. Outstanding Bordeaux. Because after all, wine is food and food is wine. Chin chin. Now you see your friend Alex here. He's pretty much responsible for everything you see around you. He, um, a couple years back, he co-signed on a loan with me uh, to bring this place into business. And so for that, he will be drinking fantastic vintages for the rest of his natural born life. That's awesome. You're here. All right, well, I'll leave you two. Be spontaneous. Thank you. Ah, oh, she's a sweetheart. So how do you know her? Let me ask you something. If you could relive any one moment in your life, what would that be? Wow. That's heavy. Um, probably the birth of my niece. My sister and her husband have been trying to conceive for about 10 years, but to no avail. Until finally one day she became pregnant, but the fact that they had been trying for so long is so what made the birth such an amazing experience. The amount of love that was in that delivery room that day was undeniable. It was the single most beautiful moment that I've ever witnessed, and I still think about that moment every day. It was emotionally overwhelming. My niece just spent the night with me last night, and she was recently just diagnosed with autism. She's the most amazing little girl, and every time I look into her eyes, I see that day. The day with all of the love that was present in the delivery room. But it saddens me to know that now her and her family now have to deal with so much of the unknown spectrum that is autism. I don't know if it was the immunizations or genetics or I don't know what, but why did it have to happen to such a beautiful family? Why? I don't know. And why am I opening up to you? Oh, it's my gift. Everybody's got gifts, right? You do have a gift, Alex. You made me feel comfortable. So comfortable that I want to invite you over for our beef tenderloin. Oh, I appreciate it. So, can I make you a tenderloin? I don't know. I don't think so. What? I, I don't think it's a good idea. And why not? I just don't. You know, you're very nice. Maybe you're too nice for me? Okay. so personally. Yeah, but not so typical. I halfway expected her to stay longer. Maybe I shouldn't use my aces so heavily. Or maybe, maybe when you find the red Savina, maybe that's when it gets interesting. Hmm. Feels amazing though. 